Hello, hey, obviously you've stopped by this video because you are looking for some search engine optimization tips. Perhaps you are a new blogger and um, you don't really know how to get your articles or your blog posts ranked on the first page of Google. Well, the purpose of this video is to give you some simple little things that you can go and implement right now and change, uh, help to change the results uh, that you have in ranking your stuff on the first page of, page of Google. Now, this is not techie, so all of my boomerpreneurs, baby boomer bloggers, this is really easy for you to learn. Uh, I am a 50 plus online marketer. My name is Janet Green, and I've been marketing uh, online and using blogs now for almost three years. And these are just some basic things that I've learned because I am connected to a huge educational platform on the internet. And um, so these are the things that we teach uh, that are taught in uh, my particular company, and I want to share them with you today. So let's start here. Notice my blog title is Search Engine Optimization Tips for New Bloggers. My um, keyword phrase here uh, is Search Engine Optimization Tips. Now, notice here, the very first thing I have here, I is this is a header, okay? And there are header tags, things called header tags, and if you read the blog, you're going to see I explain what the header tags are right down here in the blog, so you want to make sure that you read through this as well as look at this video. So what happens is when I first type this, it doesn't look like that. When I first type it, it looks like the rest of the text, and it's normal, but because Google uses header tags to determine what's actually what actually is in the content of your blog then there's this little coding that you put on it by simply clicking on this heading one tag tag now if you're using WordPress or if you happen to be on the same platform that I'm using it's it all works the same okay it's just as simple as one two three okay so now you see it tells me that I have a heading one tag on on that particular uh, text now notice here your heading tags or your header tags always contain your keyword phrases all right next thing I went down here and this particular header is a H it's called an H2 or a heading 2 tag and you just simply do the same thing highlight it come over there and select H or heading 2 and then here's another one down here this one has a H2 three or heading three tag on it and it shows it right there now notice I make mine red and the reason I do that is just simply to make them stand out from the rest of the blog and that's really for the purpose of my readers so that your readers are not uh, bored my readers are not bored when they come to the blog site and everything is is black and everything is looking exactly the same this is just for a variety okay the next thing I do is I find keyword phrases. Remember, my keywords are sprinkled out in, be in my in my blog. Now, you know what? Let me stop right here. Talk to you about these keyword phrases. The very first thing you do before you ever put up a blog is you go and you find keyword phrases or keywords. And what are keywords? Those are search topics that your particular blog, your particular uh, target market of people would be asking questions about. This is key. This is key. You, It's okay to just blog about whatever you like. That's wonderful. But make sure you're blogging about what you like and what your target market of people like as well. What's more important is talking about what your target market of people like to read. And that way they will come back and read your stuff on a regular basis. Okay, so let's come back to this. Notice here I have these keyword phrases uh, sprinkled out throughout my uh, blog. And I have one that's bolded. I have another one down here that is um, italicized. And then there's another one down here that I have an underline on. You do this. It's very simple. Again, this is a way to let Google know when they're scourging or scouring the Internet for answers to questions about search engine optimization tips. In my case, this is to let them know that when they come across this particular article, that it is about that, that uh, particular subject, right? Okay, so you see that? I got those sprinkled throughout there. Now, the other thing is this. Let's talk about keyword density because this is crucial to getting ranked on uh, first page of Google. 
with your particular articles. Now, let's talk about keyword density. Keyword density is just simply the number of times that you have your keyword phrases spread out through your blog posts. Now, the, the uh, rule of thumb is to at least have a 1% keyword density. What that means is for every 100 words that you write, you want to include one keyword phrase. Now, what you don't want to do is jam-pack your blog post with a bunch of keyword phrases uh, that don't make sense. Make it sound natural, feel natural for your readers, and as well as Google, when they're reading, make sure that it feels natural uh, in those places that you um, put your keywords. And if you notice those heading one tags, I was very, very strategic with my heading one tags, and and uh, you should be strategic also. Now, I found this little website on online that you can go to find out what your keyword density is, and I'm going to show you what that is. It's actually called keyword analyzer and it's found at keywordanalyzer.org and what you do is really really simple here you just take your entire article you, you drop it in this little box the whole article from there from the header all the way to the end of the blog post you can put in your keyword list if you like I put mine in it doesn't it, you don't have to but it will analyze it anyway and when you do that and you click analyze guess what it does it goes through it analyzes all your your word phrases and the one that I'm really interested in is this one search engine optimization tips it says that I have a total of six of them and I have a 1.5 percent um, keyword density which is just is, is good I'm within the range of one to some people do two percent some do three percent it, it just it just depends but you don't again do not pack it with keyword phrases in places that it does not make sense okay you want it to feel real natural for your readers all right so not only does it give you your keyword density but it gives you your your total word count for your blog and you know so it tells me I have 412 words in my particular article that's perfect well it's good usually I do about 500 words in a blog post I may come back and add a few more things to this one but for all intents and purposes for this particular training I wanted to just show you how this is done alright let's go back to the blog so anyway there you have the search engine optimi optimization tips uh, for you new bloggers out there. I want you to go and implement this. You can go right now, even to blog posts that you've already done. Make some little tweaks and changes and make your uh, blog post um, search engine optimized. Um, basically, uh, if, you're gonna, if you're trying to make the first page of Google, the goal is to make the top three spots, but definitely the first page of Google is crucial. And, um, you know, if you're blogging for just to have fun, it's a hobby of yours, that's great. But what if I could show you a way to blog and make some money? I found about found out about blogging about three years ago, and I've been using it to put back some money for my retirement. I said I'm a 50-plus uh, online marketer, and so I figured out a way to... Um, you know, just stash away some cash uh, for myself as I'm going into my retirement years. So if you're interested in that, then I want you to click on a link on, at the bottom of this um, blog post. You'll see it there. There's there's me. There, there's my, part of my team there. And we, you know, they're just clowning and have, having a good time. But that's, that's us. We have a good time. We are the dream team. We specialize in helping to make your dreams come true. We don't do the work for you, but we push you and support you and encourage you until you're able to do it all uh, on your own and to reach the uh, the goals that you have set for yourself and also to um, experience the lifestyle of your choosing uh, especially as you're getting into your retirement years so anyway get connected with me I enjoy sharing this with you share this with somebody leave a comment if it's been if it's been beneficial to you and I'll talk to you later have a good night